Acts chapter 8. Wisdom from Acts chapter 8. Ogbo Latino Ishi Apostoli Ori Kejo. You know, we've been reading Acts of the Apostles and learning from it. And please, I want to encourage us. This is a Pentecostal church. Amen. Please. I, I'm not being rude. I just want to encourage you that when you hear God, you can't hear man at the same time. See me to I have phone. You know, these are my phones. Now, when I come to God's presence, I purposely brought it here because of you. I put it in front of me like this. You know why I put it in front? So that it won't distract me. Now, uh, the volume, I put it on silence. I can call back whoever wants to talk to me. But if I miss God's instruction, I may not get it again. Let's read Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, from verse 1 to verse 4. Now, those of you in the media, I wait for you. Okay? After the count of three, I'll read verse 1, you read verse 2, I'll read verse 3, then you read verse 4. Now, Saul was consenting to his death. At that time, a great persecution arose against the church which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the region of Judea and Samaria except the apostles. Now you read verse 2, 1, 2, and let's go. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. I'll read verse 3. Let's go. I read, as for Saul, he made havoc of the church entering every house and dragging off men and women, committing them to prison. Now you read verse 4, let's go. Therefore, those who were scattered went everywhere preaching the word. Father, your word has been received by me. I ask for revelation and the utterance. I pray for your people understanding. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now be seated. Now, what we are going to be studying today, very important. I love putting my teachings in question form so that, you know why? So that it will help you to understand. Somebody said, whoever has the right question will get the right answer. If you can ask the right question, you will get the right answer. Especially if you are asking from the right source. Amen. Now, if you look at where we have read. Before Acts of the Apostles, the church of Jesus was only centered where? In Jerusalem. Based in Jerusalem. They weren't going any other place. They were expanding in Jerusalem. They were prospering in Jerusalem. They were doing well in Jerusalem until this persecution broke out. Now, and this persecution came from Acts chapter 6. When Stephen was preaching the gospel... And he was arrested. Then Acts chapter 7, he was murdered. They stoned him to death. Now, and Saul helped them to carry their clothes. Saul is the man that later became Paul. Now, when he saw that they could kill, kill Stephen, so we can kill these believers. These people that say they believe in Jesus, that Jesus has power. These people that rose, uh, that made the cripple to walk. So they are killable. You know, they received courage to now start to attack the church. The Bible says Saul went to receive approval from the chief priest and was going from house to house. He will enter every house. Are you a Christian? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you talk about Jesus? If you say yes, you are going straight to prison. And the Bible says believers started running from one country to another country. And the Bible says wherever they went, what did they do? They preached the gospel where they went now and you know what happened they were actually fulfilling a scripture in acts chapter 1 verse 8 that says when you receive the holy ghost what will you do you shall be witnesses of me you shall preach the gospel far and wide now the question i want to ask why is it that it was after the church was attacked that they now started to go from place to place to preach the gospel. Was God behind the attack? Could God be the reason why a, 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 a Stephen was killed? Now, these are powerful questions I am going to answer you this morning. The, uh, Pastor, I don't understand. Why is it that it was after, after they killed Stephen? Let me talk past Stephen. Let me talk past Stephen. Stephen. Aha. 
Lai igba ton pa Stephanu na sese wa lo bes ni wa suka kiri if you read through chapter 8 you will see that he, Philip he ran and entered Samaria and the bible says by him alone the whole Samaria became saved now what is the question listen that we want to ask Do, uh, uh, sorry where am i i'm trying to look for where i am in my notes does it mean that god was behind the attack against his people? My answer is no. God will never attack his own children. But he allows it when we are no longer conscious of his will. Pay attention. Every single time you lose track. Every single time you are no longer conscious of the program of God for your life. Every single time you get stuck to where you are. Because see. In the journey of destiny at times, we enjoy where we are to the point that we forget where we are going. I'm telling you, so many Christians. I remember one of our sons, the daughter, the son of one of our daughters. Uh, that's our mom Israel's son. Israel is his name. Now, he graduated from school, uh, Lagos State University. He enjoyed the fellowship at Lagos State University. He came to tell me, Papa, I enjoyed the fellowship. In fact, my fellowship is a continuation of what you taught us here. I enjoyed the fellowship. And because I want to stay behind, I don't want to serve this year. I'm going to postpone my service till next batch. You know, he told the mom. And the mom told my wife. And my wife told me, I sent for him. I said, see, if you enjoy so much, this particular atmosphere of God and you want to get stuck in it, you won't go to the next level. This is just where you are. You don't know what God has next for you. Listen, so many Christians do not understand simple language. That's why God at times will step aside. For the devil to bring an attack that will awaken us. Hello, am I communicating? God will never do evil. Pay attention. But at times he allows the enemy to come around. You know why he allows the enemy? To awaken us when we have so much relaxed. That's why you see that it was after that attack that the church began to expand. What they would have done far, far before. I wrote here, see when a wicked Pharaoh, a perfect example in Exodus chapter 1 verse 8 to verse 13. The plan of God was that Israel would stay in Egypt for some number of years. Now, but Israel enjoyed Egypt. They never thought of living again. Look at this. From verse 13. From verse 13. Ch no, sorry, chapter, uh, chapter 1 from verse 8. Chapter 1, verse 8. 1, 8, not 8, 13. Exodus 1, verse 8. Israel was enjoying now arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. When this new king came, because it was time for Israel to go, but Israel was not thinking of going. They were enjoying where they are, where they were as a den. So, but God wanted them to awake. So, a wicked Pharaoh came in and started doing what? And he said to his people, look, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. They are more and mightier than we. Very strong. And he said to his people, look. Okay, let's move to the next verse. Move to the next verse. I don't have all the time. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them. Least they multiply. And it, it happened in the event of war that they also join our enemies and fight against us. And so go out of the land. Next verse. Next verse. Next verse. We stop at 13. Let's frustrate them. Let's make life difficult for them. Therefore, they set taskmasters, taskmasters over them to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for fair. Can you see? They now, they now set up masters that will give them tasks. You must meet up this thing in one day. If you don't meet us with, if you don't meet up with, with you, they made life difficult for them. Now, do you now know that this event led to the next happening in Exodus chapter 3? Jump to Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to verse 10. Israel didn't think of going until this wicked Pharaoh came. Do you know that some of you will not think of having your own land or your own house if your landlord remains nice? Hello? You will continue to say, as long as I can, I can meet up. But when God wants to move you, he has talked to you, you didn't hear. He has talked to you, you didn't pay attention. He will 
raise the wicked land, he will step aside. And the devil will enter the heart of the landlord. You will be shocked. He can move your rent from 50,000 naira to 500,000. And he will tell you, come, let's negotiate. That was how me too I moved though. They moved my rent that time. I was paying 180,000. Was it 180? Yes. I was paying 180. And they said they moved my rent to 450. That time. Six or seven years ago. And they said I should come for negotiation. And I and my wife were talking and saying, if we continue like this, when are we going to raise our children? Oh, there's a land at Elebu now. Yes, it belongs to the church. There should be a mission house there. Let's go and see what we can do. That's where we are living to thank God for that letter from the agents. If not so, we will have still been there till today. Tell your neighbor, say I hear. Or tell him, open your ears. If there is no wicked Penina, Hannah will not think of going to the altar now. It was the mockery of Penina. Look at you, barring woman, always sending my own son's children uh, errand. You are not even ashamed. My husband will now give you meat. Now only meat you shall be chopped all your life. Shameless woman. She cried to the altar. God will not do evil, but at times he steps aside when he wants to move you to your next phase. So, verse 7. Where is that verse 7? Where is that verse 7? Verse 7. Exodus chapter 3, 7 to 10. Thank you. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have done what? And I have heard their cry. They never cried before until a wicked Pharaoh came. They never cried until a wicked Pharaoh came because of their what? Taskmaster. Can you see? That the taskmaster is now the reason why they can cry. Oluwa, Ojueda, Ojueda, Ah, Muruka, Baba, what sorry, Ile, Leri, Kon, Ah, Ati, Bagbe, Ati, Jagaliki, Ati, Suya, Ati, Bogbon, Bagbe. Israel did not begin to cry to God until the wicked Pharaoh came into power. Listen, when the wicked think they have their way. Because of the carelessness of the believer, God uses it as a wake-up call to the believer to be conscious of his will. Let me come again. Whenever the wicked think they have their way, nigbati awon eni bibanruki yes, Allah muti muwa muti muwa bale. Allah ruma mama lo. Let me share two or three experiences with you, if time permits. Listen, I used to fall sick every year. Our workers know. And the sickness used to be very chronic. One of them almost packed up my liver. Another one almost packed up my heart. Until one day, one, in one of those sicknesses, I was on the sick bed. The doctor was treating me at home and I was praying, Lord, Uluwaki lo shele. Shasi koti toni iruasiku ulufeto. As at that time, I was just 40, be a 41. You ask a question, what is the plan of God for us? He said, with long life. Tell your neighbor, with long life. Tap your neighbor, say, neighbor, 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 neighbor. Even if you want to die, I will not allow you to die. With long life. Will I satisfy you? That's the scripture. That's the promise. I was thinking, Lord, and I slept. In that vision, I saw myself standing receiving a call somebody was calling me hello pastor please come i just bought a, a new warehouse come and dedicate it while i was saying, okay i'm coming i'm coming i was going to drop another one said sir my wife just put to bed please come and pray for me at the hospital i said i'm coming i'm coming another one just coming papa i just bought the house come and i said i'm coming i'm coming another one coming sir come and preach in my birthday i said i'm coming now, i just had a voice very audible voice when will you not die young the way you use your body it's an abuse. I woke up. I said, Lord, I am sorry. That was when I started to now implement, implement the law of delegation. I've not been sick again since then. But do you know that if it is not because of that sickness, I will not be wise. Am I communicating? Listen. Even 
sorry, some of us don't know that at times we, we, we sleep. Now, what does it mean to sleep? To be weary. What does it mean to be sleep? You are no longer paying attention, like Mrs. Christopher is doing now. That's what it means to sleep. You are no longer listening. You, do, you are no longer conscious of your environment. Now, when they say somebody spiritually sleeps, who are conscious of the environment, there are times like we need an awakening. So, if you see that the devil carries out an attack, hear me. And God allow it, it should be a wake up call. You know, as she, as she was sleeping, not those, you know, sleeping that time, if I push you, uh, uh, just jack her with one elbow, uh, she was, uh, 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 it's a wake up call, wake up, Lunjebe. Thank God that you have to sleep. You have to sleep. It's in line with my message now. Some of us don't know that times we sleep, we become weary, we become spiritually weak, we no longer pray as we used to pray. We no longer study the scriptures as we used to. We are no longer committed to the things of God the way we used to. In our plans to take care of our body, we are no longer conscious. Listen, the enemy capitalizes on this to attack us at times. He capitalizes when he sees that we are asleep. How do I know? It's in scripture. Matthew 13, 25. Matthew 25, 5. Put it on screen. 13, 25, 25, 5. At times we sleep. Hello, me, what is so? And don't forget, one of my simplest definitions of sleeping is that you are no longer conscious of your environment. You are no longer conscious. You are no longer conscious of your environment. Look at this. He said, but while men slept, the enemy always capitalized on the, when you sleep. When you are no longer conscious. His enemy came and sowed first among the wheat and did what? And went away. The devil doesn't pardon when you sleep. He capitalizes on it. And what will he do? He will quickly come and plant something. Somebody will say, but God neither sleeps nor slumber. Why did God allow him to plant? He allows it so that, that whatever he plants, when you begin to see the result, you will wake up the Kai, How did I employ this kind of a person into my business? How, how come? What happened? What happened? It's a wake up call. Matthew 25 verse 5. Even the the, thank you. It says, while the bridegroom was delayed, what happened? They slumbered. You know what it means to slumber? What to be? It will man do. It has happened to me before on the staring. Ah, I didn't know I was. I my eyes was open. Sincerely speaking, I didn't know my eyes was open. I slept off. It was when I wanted to. I, 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 blood of Jesus, and I told myself, no, 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 no. I won't allow this to happen. When men slept. Let me quickly ask this question. Why do men sleep? Let's even ask. I'm not talking about natural sleep now. I'm talking about not being conscious of your environment. Why do men sleep? Number one, at times we get too carried away by the pleasures of our present. You know why at times we will relax? When they are so comfortable where they are. Let's look at the church as at that time before the attack. Acts chapter 2, 42 to 47. Let's look at the church. You know, men sleep, sleep when they are comfortable. Sister Agogo, are you here? If that chair is not a real banquet now, you know you won't feel comfortable. Well, look at this. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Now, go down, you see. The, then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Go downward again. Now all who believe were together, and had all things in common. Go down again, and sold their possessions and goods, and did what? And divided among all anyone that had need. Can you imagine? Everybody said what they have and they are sharing. You take this. What do you want? Take this. You, what do you want? What, take this. That was what the church was. So they were comfortable. Everybody that had need, their need were met in church. So they slept. I need not like to go any other place. We are, we, let's not, we are not here finished. Let's not be true. Let's, let's, don't come back. Bring it back. They were comfortable because everybody's need was met. 
Ah, sir, one of your greatest enemies that if you don't know how to manage very well is comfort. If you are not careful, comfort will throw you out of God. Because you are so comfortable, you don't even know what to pray about. You begin to have a feeling that you don't even need God. Arati, thank you, sir. Arati two. Arati two. Let's read on. So they continued daily with one accord in the temple. They weren't going out again. Doing what? Breaking bread. From house to house. They ate their food with what? Gladness and simplicity of heart. That was what made them relaxed. We are not yet true. Praising God and having favor with all people. Why would you not have favor with all people? When their needs are met. Let's go on. And the Lord added to the church daily. Who were those that were coming? Those who were being saved. They were coming in. Getting born again. Got born again. You will have your need met. Got born again. You, you know, people were joining the church. It was easy for them to forget Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1 and verse 8. Show me Acts 1 8. They forgot. What it bag be? It bag tonting jail, tonting clean bread, tonting clean your own church. Tony Kalukutin, I could mean, they need, they might be need me the church on my meet. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit have come upon you and you shall what? Be witnesses where? To me where? In Jerusalem, number two, in, in all Judea, number three, in Samaria, and what? The end of the act. But they only stayed in Jerusalem. They were comfortable. Sir, beware of comfort. You can afford to eat what you want, wear what you want. Beware. If care is not taken, you begin to feel, why do I even need God? Ah, the devil is, the devil is coming. You know my philosophy. The devil does not have power. The devil is not, is not swift. It's not fast. The only thing he does is to capitalize on our careless opening. That's what he does. Once he sees an, ho- an, op- an opening, he enters. And most times, we carelessly open the door. Tap your neighbor say, wake up. Don't sleep, please. I'm not talking about physical sleep now. Comfort is the first thing that makes men to sleep. When she share on her salary, oh, we need fasting and prayer. Koto, 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 bowe. Abi, oh, need there. Oh, the tini, according to one of my daughters, Dickness kept me. She has what we call to do list. And when you talk about to do, me, Bori. She said, My to do. So your to do list is always met. You feel that? Uh, why do I need to have money devotion again? Why do I need to spend time in, in God's presence again? Why do I need to get committed in choir again? Why do I need to hear the Holy Ghost speak to me again? You have slept. Even when you are speaking in tongues, you have slept. The best time, sir, to be more committed to God is when God is blessing you. Because one thing you, should, you don't know is that the blessings introduce you to the devil. It was first saying, Lati, liberty, day, day, elebu, kosento, marie, but wa oma. Wa ji wagon. Kokon, kosino, elason, lati, bi, and we anya. She ke isho ye to first saying, wa church in here. And the and so more yin and ya talon jo ye. Unua nu jiwa gon ye. Then you begin to see that you it happen at liberty want to bolo kebola. Before you know it, somebody have called your mommy in the village. Your mommy to be done, say, hey, ah, God has done a miracle for me. Oh, ah, oh yeah, the jiwa gon. Who knows as she's dancing, she has not seen you. The enemy is aware. The best time to be more committed to God and more serious in your work with God is when God is blessing you. Because I always tell people, you don't know true friends when you are blessed. The best time to know true friends is when you are struggling. Sir, even past we pastors, we don't know true members, true followers when we are blessed. It's easy for them to call you my father when the, the anointing begins to speak. 
Am I communicating? Let me ask your neighbor, do you understand that message? If you ask some people, when have you fasted last? Any away, bow, kini move to to the egg bow. Comfort. They are okay. Let's rush through. We don't have all this time. We don't have all this. So the church forgot. They needed an awakening. Second reason why men slept. When, sorry, sorry, at times we allow some of the things we have gone through make us discouraged. Then we enter the sleep mode. I, don't, I didn't know sleep mode until I had TV. That she had later sleep mode. See, that's a program. Those of okay, one of parai. So many Christians, it was sleep mode. One bad drama. One cabby belly more. Hello, me gone. We watch church, you gone. She did it more. Hello, me, I'm a strobo. Me five minutes to the end of the service. So, man, yeah. Kilo shell take away the end of a bully of a no bank on Lena. It happened to prophet Elijah, the great man of God. Let's look at it fast because of time. First Kings chapter 19, from verse 1 to verse 8. Let's read the first eight verses. Your challenges can put you into it. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. Also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. Move on. We are stopping at verse 8. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me and more also if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. About this time tomorrow, yeah? And when he saw... Don't forget, she spoke, but he saw. Which means he was so troubled that the words of Jezebel became a vision in, that he was looking at. He was looking at how he will be killed. Don't allow what you, have go, you are going through make you discouraged to the point you now begin. Hey, what me pray, Mojari? Pray, Mojari. I go, 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 I Look at the next verse. Fast, fast, fast. We don't have time. And when he saw and rose and ran for his life. Now, but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat under a broom tree. And what happened? And he prayed that he might die and said, It's enough. Now, Lord, take my life. I am not better than my father's. It's enough. Then, what did he do? As he lay and slept. Great prophet slept because he was thinking of his challenges. If you give challenges too much attention, it will put you into sleep mood. And can I tell you this truth? There is no level in this life that you will be free of challenge. As you graduate from one, you enter another one. Ah, there was a time I was praying, Lord, if I get married, my problem is solved. I got married, my problem increased. Because now I had a wife to feed. I had a wife to care for. In those days, I could go to program sleep anywhere. But when I'm married, I had to get a place that would befit my, me and my wife. Then, Lord, give us children. If you give us children, I have no child. Children came. Then I knew that I had to feed them to my, my expenses increased. Oh, increase. Could decrease. I had to feed them. I, formerly, I was feeding only my mouth. There is no level that you'll be free of challenge. Okay, Lord, 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 help me. Help me to train them. Okay, when I train them, I know I'll be free. When I train them, am I free? Whatever place they get to work, you will still be praying. Lord, please protect these children. I'm not where they are. Lord, keep them for me. Lord, help them. You know, at times when I go visit people that deliver in the hospital, I think of my daughters. Ah, Olonjo, Lord. Which means there's no level that one will be free. The only place you get to and you'll be free of challenge is when you get to the grave. That's why they call it eternal rest. So don't allow any challenge to put you into sleep mode. Look at what Elijah the Great said. Let's finish it. Let's finish this one fast, fast, fast. Then... He lay, he slept suddenly and an angel touched him and said to him, arise and eat. 
thinking that getting the miracle bread will quicken him again. Then he looked, and there by his head was a cake baked on coals and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and did what? He slept again. Eleyo wa revive him Small miracle cannot revive him again. And the angel of the Lord came back the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat. Second time. Because the journey is too far for you. Move, 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 move. So he arose and ate and drank. And he went in the strength of that food 40 days and 40 nights as far as the Oreb, the mountain of God. Now, there's no time. Do you know that he ended up telling God, I am tired. I am the only one left. I want to die. Don't give your challenges too much attention. Number three things that make people sleep. At times, it is because we do not allow our relationship. Sorry, sorry. It is because we do not allow relationships that can inspire us more. That's why I always say any group you find yourself that you are become the most matured, leave that group. Any group that nobody can inspire you, leave that group. You will discover that you no longer grow. So at times it is because we do not allow new relationships that can inspire us. When you outgrow those surrounding you, listen, you will feel there is nothing new to do. Because when you are the champion in that group, you feel that there is nothing else again. That was why it was easy for Samson to fall. He was operating alone. There was nobody greater than him. You know why David did exploit till he died? There was a Joab. There was an Abisha. They were great men. You need to always check your association. If you are in any association and all of them are seeing you as Baba, Baba Wanye, Don, Mommy Wanye, look for another group where they, use, they will see you as the lowest. That group will inspire you. Am I communicating? There's no time. Ah, Shagada Basoto ye maskende. There is not, sorry, you think there's nothing new, so you relax. I wrote it. Open for relationship with people with more fire. Open to relationship with people with fresher fire. Then you will see that you won't relax. Do you know that even some of you have relaxed in business? You know, this morning, I got to the church very late and I felt very hungry. So I, I needed, I just said that they should give me biscuit. So when they gave me cracker, I told them for cracker biscuit. I didn't want what had sugar. I said, that more, they said 16 naira. I said they should give me one. As I opened it, I saw that the biscuits in it had reduced to three. Only three. It used to be six. Abby? Then it became five one time. Mm -mm. I will look on Kolonta biscuit. Emma blame Tinumumoko. Is at a Lido? Is at a Lido? Anybody that occupies a position of leadership, they talk like they can change things before they get there. But when they get there, they understand that, ah, and so offer. Kaya. Would you remember? I just feel left another time. So I was not looking at the biscuits. I said, which means that there's profit in this business. One. It's 20 naira. I will begin to talk to our people. Where people, everybody is busy thinking of how to travel. You wonder why Suma is not thinking of traveling out. I want to hear contact by now. Hey, Matunda, me low more. But one, don't know what he's jacked by. Well, Lubeshi, be on your company, one, no, what to be, one, for winning, whatever, what to need, I won't love you, because. Begin to think, sir. One, one, do I call it one stick or one piece? 20 naira. 
I said to myself, this is profit. It's even more profitable than bread. If you see where they mix flour, you understand that flour is not a biscuit. Oh, my light is bad. Oh, if you make fast, this is sinner. Oh, my light is not a biscuit. If you don't biscuit, you can't eat it. So, hello, my study. I work in Nigeria like a company. You know, we used to have a lot of biscuits. Ogunde, is it not Ogunde that has it? We used to have Dr. Pepe drink. But you know, Nigerians, we don't value our own. If, if, if the white people don't wear their clothes and send it to us to buy, we won't buy it. We prefer the one that they themselves wore and sent to us than the new that we make here. I'm going to come on. Where was I self? I jumped somewhere. What am I saying? Look for a group. If you don't want to go into sleep mode, any group. Ah, 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 brother, brother, prayer warrior. But I that what you go group when you see Otherwise, we will to arrive. I want to come back to Did you at it? But only man lying seven days. Let me round up. Are you learning something? Another question here. What should I do? Oh, sorry. Does it mean that God allows the enemy to attack us just like that? Or just because he wants to wake us up? Let me answer this question. So somebody will not be saying, "Ah, ah, God must be wicked. I wrote here, whatever attack you notice, no matter how big, you think it is. Grace is the reason why it is not beyond that. You think if the devil should come in, he will not destroy even you. But the grace of God did not allow you to go beyond. But God wants you to wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Hello, me, Tom Basaki, O Niro, no. What if one query be merry? You are not thinking. Wake up. God is saying something. When things are like this, what should you do? Go back to God and say, Lord, what are you saying that I'm yet to understand? What I'm teaching you, God is also talking to me. What are you saying? Are you saying I should move out of Liberty Road? Are you saying I should move out of Ibadan? Are you saying there's another assignment? How do you answer those questions? You go back to God. That was what Elijah was supposed to do. But he got back to God and was throwing questions at God. And throwing conclusions at God. Father, I am done. They have killed all your prophets. I'm the only one left. And God said, go back. Anoint his ear. To become king. Anoint Elisha to succeed you. But I want you to know that there are how many thousand? Seven thousand in Israel whose knees have not been knelt to bow. Ah! I believe he will wake up, but it was late. Listen, don't wait until the door close completely before you pick what God is trying to tell you. And you know why did the Lord God allowed the enemy? Is because you refuse to listen to God's simple instruction. And you know there are some people like that. God cannot talk to them for them to hear until they go through something. Are you learning? Am I being? We we'll take extra time, but let me summarize. What should I do as a believer to avoid this style? Of refusing to wake up until there's an attack. <laughs> what should I do as a believer to avoid this style of refusing to wake up until there's an attack? You know, there are some Christians like that think come back to you, but you want to run on me. See, you want to come back to you, you want to run on me. 
what can I do so that I will not be that kind of a Christian? That until one door closed, you now start saying, Ah, Father, Father, I want your mother church tomorrow. Father, Lord, what do I do? How you can know what God is saying before those things happen, sir. Quickly, I'll tell you two things or three and I'll close. What should I do? Number one, be deliberate and conscious of your time with God daily. That's what we call daily time with God. Be deliberate about it. If you want to have time, have time. Don't be having time with God and be listening to music at the same time. Don't be having time with God and be cooking at the same time. Don't be having time with God and put clothes in the washing machine at the same time. Create time that you are deliberate about and you are conscious of. Listen, I don't hear. He wants to speak to you daily. Now, look at the order of service in the Old Testament. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. He told the priest, he said, you must put wood in that fire daily. It must be daily. Look at it. And the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it. It shall not be put off. And the priest shall burn wood on it every what? Every morning. And lay the burnt offering in order on it. It shall be done daily. So be deliberate. Maybe you want to have time with God. Be deliberate about it. I want to have time. I don't want disturbance. I don't want my wife to be with me at that time. I don't want my children to be with me at that time. So create a time that you know that none of them will disturb you. Even if it will take you waking up early. Every successful person must have a thinking time and a thinking room. There must be a time in your life. Each day, you wake up ahead of others. You go and think. You just sit down. You look yourself. You catch yourself with my three children. What do I have to do next? Now, that's thinking time. It's different from your devotion time. What's the next plan? But in your devotion time, these are the things that forms up your devotion time. Write them down. Write them down. I'm trying to look for where I wrote them. The things that forms your devotion time. Prayer. Worship. Study. And being calm to hear him speak. Four. Prayer, worship, study, and being calm. Just four. Now, I'm not saying this is how you are, or arrange it. Only imagine prayer, Luma Fibere. There are days that you go into God's presence with worship. There are days you wake up and you just wake up with a passion to study the Bible. There are days you also wake up, you go straight into prayer. But see, every day after you must have done worship, done prayer, done study, just say, be silent. Emimimo, Holy Spirit, Monso, whatever language you speak, speak to me. Be calm. He could put a conviction in your heart. He could speak to your heart. He could bring a picture. Praise the Lord. I told you about Gospel Kiddies Academy. How did we start? My wife was praying in the parlor. I was praying in the, in, the, in, in, my, in, my, in the passage. That was how she received. She called me. And today, it is active. God wants to speak to you, sir. But the problem is you are too busy. That's why he allows the devil to stroke. When the devil struck, you wake up. Ha, ah, God, what are you saying? Okay, so now you can listen. Some of you are in wrong relationship. God has told you, come out, come out. You say, no, until when the devil struck. I remember when I was in primary, uh, secondary school, SS, SS, uh, SS1. Was it SS1? I was so consumed with other activities, I didn't pay attention to my academics. 
my teacher, Mrs. Toba, called me to the staff room and said, Uma da Benkuma, repeat. Ah. I said, Ah. You balu fiso? Because she was a Yoba teacher. Uma da Benkuma, repeat. But Mushin, Mushin ka, Uda Kuma, repeat. Hey. Mude bears in lagu, ni kikan, kikan. Shiki, shiki, muti, she fellow she pushy. Timmy Raye Kawi. That's why I used to tell my children. Be busy for God, though, but don't let it affect your studies. Ha, I was afraid. I went home, I was praying. I was making several vows to God. So the second day I got to school, she called me. Ah, Mukaila, wawa, 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 wa. Ah, Muti, Muti, Bagimi, Okada, Daniel, Opasio. Eh, wo, Muya, Mutu, Shukutu, Mission. Lastly, did you get it? What should you do? Number two, submit for mentorship as the last one. Submit for mentorship. Nobody can mentor you without your full permission. Submit to somebody that can call you to others. Come, that can ask you questions. That can tell you they notice so and so thing about you. Why not go and change like this? Don't live your life like a freelance officer. You know who they call freelance? I want to learn. You can tell me, Bawi. Oh, she shall have any. I go to town. Oh, shall have a guessy. She guessy go not test. Not not picking it. Because I used to say it very well at home. Oh yeah, what do we come? What do we mean? I give you any clues? Operate. Listen, submit for mentorship. What's happening to you? It will help you. Somebody will ask you a question. What is the next vision you need to embark on? What's the next thing? If there is nobody like that, you will enter sleep mode. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May your ability to hear God be restored. May your fire begin to burn again. May you awake from your slumber. I say may you awake. It is so in Jesus name. Today is anointing service. I've taken time. I'm going to pray for you and anoint you for the month. Everybody rise up so I will